I really love my country. Uh, the culture is amazing. I'm, I'm very attached to, to my roots. Uh, so it's, it's definitely an honor to represent Morocco. I've been dreaming to play this tournament since very young. Uh, I've been watching the girls uh, when I was younger and it really inspired me. You have to take advantage of it, uh, seeing all the, hearing all the cheerings from, uh, from uh, Moroccans is, is very nice and I think it's a, it's a big plus. I'm dreaming of, of winning here uh, in front of a, of a home crowd. I'll do my best and we'll see. In Morocco, we're, we're very patriotic. I'm a big fan of, uh, of the Moroccan national team. I went to the World Cup in Russia in 2018. I was playing Q-Series, uh, the LPGA Q-Series, when, when Morocco was playing. And I mean, I can tell you how, how we felt. We were seeing all the crazy videos and uh, basically everywhere in the world. It was something crazy. I got the chance to watch the semi-final. So as soon as I finished uh, my round on Sunday, I flew Monday to, uh, to Qatar to watch the semi-final and it was amazing to witness that. It's not a, it's not a coincidence that I played good that, that week, you know, because every morning we, would, we were watching the, the national anthem uh, live when they were in the stadium. So yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. What brings sports is, is amazing. Everyone reunites, everyone forgets about it, its problems and it, we all become just one. I'm not too much of a thinker. I just uh, go day by day, um, and I, I think that that's a good. I mean, that's something that works for me. Um, I, I set a plan that that will allow me to play my best, and I don't think about the the result. And even even during that week uh, in Deauville when I won the Lacos, um, until until I was really the last part on the playoff, that's when I realized I was eventually going to win the tournament. So, yeah, to answer your question, if you, if you told me in, in 2019 I would win uh, an LET event and have my LPJ card, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> it was great to have the crowd because, you know, we were playing with Céline, who's, who's, a, who's a French girl, and she was attracting a lot of, uh, a lot of people. Um, I really enjoyed it. My husband was caddying for me uh, during uh, that moment. Um, it was my first playoff as a, as a pro. Uh, it was great. We started all together with, uh, with my father and my brother. And my mom has been always traveling with me when I was uh, younger, you know, when I was uh, representing um, Morocco and, uh, and playing with the national team. So definitely they were very supportive and uh, I think it's, uh, it's very important uh, to have parents, uh, to have supportive parents that are pushing you and, and following your dreams, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm very thankful for them, yeah. We were maybe two girls playing in my golf club and today I see um, some national tournaments with uh, many, many girls playing different age and I think that the Moroccan Federation is playing a, a big role on that. Uh, they're, they're trying to uh, democratize, democratize the, the sport and attract more and more people. Um, we have more golf clubs here uh, in Morocco and um, it's also attracting tourists, uh, tourists a lot. And um, no, we definitely have the talent and potential. We just um, maybe believe more in ourselves. Um, and just feel that anything is possible and we Moroccans can make it as well. So I played college golf for a year in the US. Yeah, at some point I, I, I didn't want to put my studies aside and uh, I decided to go back to the UK just to study. That's where I stopped playing. Um, because, you know, in Morocco we <coughs> We were not very familiar with, with professional professional golf, or, and um, I, I, my parents were always supportive in a sense that do what, what you what you love, do what you want. Um, they, 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 they were never too pushy on, about anything, which is great, and I, I really thank them for that. 
But um, when I came back from, when I graduated from the UK in 2019, there was a, a, a guy, a French guy, who, who was working with the Federation here. And he used to be a European tour player. Um, so he knew what was professional golf and he saw me play. We, we talked a little bit and he's really the one who pushed me um, to go back to golf and he told me give it give it give it a one more one more uh, one more time a chance you know and um, in my head when I was in the UK I always I was thinking that's a shame you never you never went all the way I mean you never tried all the way what what like you don't know what your potential is maybe you can be a, a major winner and you don't know whether you can make it or not you you didn't give yourself a try. So that's when I, I decided to, um, to really focus on golf and, and I took uh, two years where I only played uh, full time before turning pro uh, when I got my LET card. I always um, put my um, goals very high. Uh, whether I achieve them or not doesn't matter, but it, it, it allows me to um, to see higher and higher um, so yeah my, my goals are, are, are pretty high and uh, uh, I think it's good to keep allowing yourself to push your limits.